Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be going over partials uh, and the different types of partials and primarily what the different is, what the difference is between them and uh, which one would you prefer to get. Um, now as always, as a disclaimer, I'm not a dentist. I do have many years of experience in the dental field uh, teaching patients about dentistry, uh, what the doctor diagnosed, or what potentially could have caused that to happen and what uh, could they do to prevent it from happening again in the future. Um, so without further ado, partials. Um, now there's different types of partials. Partials, um, as I have spoken about it before, have a primary use um, outside of the obviously making you look better aesthetically. Um, their primary uh, focus is to prevent other teeth, the teeth that are around the areas where you have gotten teeth extracted from moving. Uh, and now the benefit to partials is that in terms of uh, placeholders, um, or, or, you know, just general replacement of the tooth once you've lost them, um, they are the cheapest in comparison to bridges and implants. And in addition to that, there's something that it's for the entirety of the arc, either be the bottom or the top, um, where it, it's the same cost no matter how many teeth you're missing. Whereas if you have a bridge, then you might need to get multiple bridges done because you might be missing teeth in different areas. Or if you do implants, you know, the cost will obviously go higher because you're getting multiple implants done. Now, a, br a partial is not permanent. It's something that you do have to remove, um, preferably every night, to wash. And then you just put it back on and you use it every day on a daily basis to eat regularly and to speak for, for all reasons. Um, now, the different types of partials, um, there, there are different types and they're all different. They all have comfort levels and um, some people are okay with, with the regular ones, some people won't. Um, nowadays specifically want ones that are less noticeable um, and they do exist and they are different types um, so the most common ones which is the one that a lot of people tend to get um, not obviously not because the patients know it's just that's the one that doctors give out the most are your regular are your regular metal um, resin parcels those are the ones that have metal in them to hold down the the partial and uh, they have the resin around the teeth and the gums um, just to aesthetically look a little bit pleasing, but the hooks, the, the clasp, which is what holds on to the other teeth and stuff to prevent it from moving around is made of metal. Um, and it is sometimes noticeable depending on where the clasp is. So those, the, the metal partials are very durable, obviously because it's metal. So it can, they can last you a very, very long time. Um, and they, they, they tend to be more durable and prevent from breaking or, um, or even fracturing, um, obviously because they're made of metal. Now, obviously most people don't like them because it's metal. You don't want it. Most people don't want it in their mouth. And they, and they also, um, sometimes it is notable again, because it also depends on where the clasp is, where it is noticeable. And people try to find things that are, that make it not so noticeable. So as others to know that that person is wearing a partial. Um, and then, so then to, to, to get into something more aesthetically pleasing, there is a different type of partial that is uh, also a metal partial, but it's more of a mix um, and a resin. So the the outer portions of the partial uh, do fit. Uh, they're it's acrylic, and they do they do fall into the the, the color of your gums. Um, the the clasp also are for your gums and stuff, but the inner portions of the of the partial are made of metal. So it's like the inner layers and the inner lining inside the acrylic are made of metal. So it gives it a bit more of a du uh, durability. Now, the, um, the, those are strong as well. They're not as strong as the actual metal ones because it's not, it's, it's a very thin layer of metal. It's not so much as, as the regular metal ones. Um, and they, but they are, they are good nonetheless, and they do fit, they do fall, um, into their main purpose, which is again, to prevent your other teeth from moving and to use them on a daily basis for eating and stuff. Um, those as well, just like the regular ones, you do have to take out, make sure you take out every night and wash, um, because all the bacteria and stuff like that does uh, build up on them. And if you don't take care of them, then they can get weakened and they can break. Now these are, are more capable of, they're less durable and they're more capable of breaking than the regular metal ones. Um, because again, obviously they have a thinner, a thinner layer of metal. Um, but they are good nonetheless. Uh, the other partials that that you can get, which are actually really good right now, and they're they're really they're really well done. It's for the they're called Velplast partials, 
and the material that they use is called Velplast. It's like a nylon plastic type material, but it's very, very uh, moldable. It is biocompatible, so you don't have to worry about getting allergies and things like that to it. Um, and the there is no metal whatsoever into it. Uh, the way it works is that the val the Valplast, which is the type of material that they use, um, is very is very is very flexible. So when they make it, it it sits and with with the obviously with the impressions, it sits very well in your gums. Um, and the the actual Valplast is what you is what is used to hold on to your other, to your other teeth instead of the metal for the clasping. Um, and the 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 gum area, which is also what used to sit down on your on your in your mouth between your teeth, works. It it looks pretty much natural, so nobody can really tell the difference at all when you have them on up until you literally take them out. Um, in addition to that, like I said, they're they're extremely comfortable because of the material, the Velplast material. It is a rubbery type substance, so it it falls in your in your gums really comfortable, and you never really have to worry about getting adjustments. You pretty much almost never have to get an adjustment outside of maybe the first time. Sometimes, not even always. It's very really rare cases where we where I've had. I think I, I've had maybe one patient that came in and we had to do an adjustment on the valpla uh, for the valplast partial. But other than that, most times that we've done them, they pretty much come in, they pick it up, and they take it. They put it on. It looks great, and they and they take it with them, and they're extremely happy. Um, so that's uh pretty much it for partials. Um. They do obviously have a price difference, um, which each one of them, the Valplast being the most expensive one. Um, but again, aesthetically and also comfortably, it's the best one out of all of them. And again, they are cheaper than your bridges and your your um, your implants. So if it's something that you're looking to, because you need to take care of something for uh, for you need to take care of your your look for aesthetic reasons, but you can't afford getting bridges or implants, then you should definitely consider getting a partial because it'll take care. It'll they'll do the same job. And it will be for all the areas in your mouth, not just the one tooth, maybe potentially one in the front, which is what most people care for the most. Uh, so as always, flourish and prosper, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.